Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing well. We're already 30 days into the Omer count. Uh, so 20 days left and we'll have Shavuot. So what a blessing. We'll celebrate him giving the commandments, giving life to the world through his commandments. Um, <clears throat> Ruth is okay. Um, just got a little cold, and but she'll be all right. Everything is good. She's on the mend. So praise Yah. Let's start with a song. Yahuwah, you're my refuge, my strength, and my king. Yahuwah, you're my everything, my everything. Yahuwah, you're my refuge, my strength, and my king. Yahuwah, you're my everything, my everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless Yahuwah. Bless his name. Let's begin with a prayer. Thank you, Yahuwah, for the Sabbath day. Thank you, Yah, for all your blessings on our lives, in the lives of our families and friends and relatives and people across the world that we don't know. You're so kind and merciful and providing for everyone. We bless you and we thank you for the Sabbath day, Father. We rest in you, in you alone. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. We'll do the Shema from Devarim chapter 6, verses 4 through 9. We call it the Shema because it starts with here. And Shema in, in Hebrew means here. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. Hear, O Israel, Yahuwah is our Elohim. Yahuwah is the one and only. You shall love Yahuwah, your Elohim, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your resources. And these matters that I command you today shall be upon your heart. You shall teach them thoroughly to your children. You shall speak of them while you sit in your home, while you walk on the way, when you retire, and when you arise. Bind them as a sign on your arm, and let them be ornaments between your eyes. And write them on the doorpost of your house and upon your gates. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah. Thank you, Yah. Uh, <clears throat> we had... The um, a lot of reading, good readings this week, uh, 21, 22, 23, and 24 of Vaikra, Leviticus. Um, we had the festivals in chapter 23, all the festivals starting with the Sabbath, Pesach, Passover, uh, the county of the Omer leading up to Shavuot, and then Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. And those are the appointed times that Yah has for us. To celebrate. We're going to uh, begin with looking at Vayikra 20, which was last week's reading. Um, Yah has everything planned out for us and how to follow him and to serve him. Um, verses 7 and 8. You shall set apart yourselves, sanctify yourselves, and you shall be holy. You shall be set apart. For I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. And then it goes on to list many forbidden relationships that we're not supposed to have. And if you have them, they can lead to death. The relationships he wants us to have, the healthy ones, are for our life. And they lead us to fulfillment and praise to him. So, it, it um, I just want to... This is verse 22 of chapter 20. You shall observe my decrees and my ordinances and perform them. Then the land to which I bring you to dwell will not disgorge you, expel you, put you out. Do not follow the traditions of the nation that I expel from before you, for they did all of these, and I was disgusted with them. So I said to you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you to inherit a land flowing with milk and honey. I am Yahuwah, who has separated you from the peoples. And then verse 26. You shall be holy for me, set apart for me, for I am Yah, for I, Yahuwah, am holy. And I have separated you from the peoples to be mine. Yahuwah is holy, and he wants us to be holy. Isn't that great? He wants us to be like him. Uh, to experience life on the good side, life in fulfillment and, and in the best, 
and in the highest form that we can live it. Uh, and that's what Yah has for us and wants for us. Um, we're going to look at uh, chapter 22 now of Vayikra, Leviticus. And I'm going to look at verse 9. They shall protect my charge and not bear a sin thereby and die because of it, for they will have desecrated it. I am Yahuwah who sanctifies them. I am Yahuwah who sets you apart. He's the one that sets us apart. He's the one that makes us holy. And if we follow his ways, we can be. He wants us to be, and we will be. And that's where our happiness and peace comes from, from Yahuwah and following his ways. Now we're going to go to 23, verses 1 and 2. Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, Yahuwah's appointed festivals that you are to designate as set-apart convocations, holy convocations, these are my appointed festivals. And then it lists the Sabbath day, um, uh, Passover, uh, Sukkot, uh, Shavuot, Sukkot, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, all the feasts that are laid out in chapter 23. And I think it's important for us to know that we can follow Yahuwah. The end of verse 14 says, It is an eternal decree for your generations and all your dwelling places. These laws are eternal. You know why? Because he is eternal. Yahuwah is eternal, and he has eternal laws for us to keep so that we can be like him, that we can live life to the fullest, to our highest potential, to the best um, regards for everyone, not just ourselves. Our lives really are belonging to him for what he wants, the purpose he has for us. So we can, that takes some pressure off us, really, if you think about it. It's not about yourself. It's about Yah. Put your focus on Him. Um, when we think about the laws of slavery, remember that people were in bondage. They had certain laws in Egypt to keep them in bondage, to keep them in slavery, to keep them in oppression. But Yah brought them out of that and gave them His laws on Mount Sinai that we're going to celebrate at Shavuot. And his laws are for our life. Things are forbidden. Things are uh, encouraged. Things must be done. So there's all kinds of laws, positive and negative, but they're all for our good and for our life. And <clears throat> the ways of the countries and nations around us, just like in here, the people did all these abominable things. And Yah said, no, because they did that, I expelled them. I put them out. But when I bring you in, you are to keep my laws, and you can live by them. And they're just the opposite of laws that keep us oppressed and in bondage. But they're freeing, freeing us to serve him in the best way that we can, the way he wants to be served. Hallelujah. So, um, Yahuwah is set apart, and so must we be set apart. He rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done in creation. He wants us to rest on the seventh day. He gives us six work, work days to do all of our work, Sunday through Friday. But then we must rest on the Sabbath day because he rested. His laws are eternal for he is eternal. He is set apart and wants us to be set apart. Holy. He wants us to be holy unto him set apart for himself. He wants us to be kind, for his kindness endures forever. His kindness endures forever. And he wants us to show as much kindness as we can. Uh, because his kindness endures forever. Yahuwah is the greatest. There's no doubt about that. And we have to all find him, learn him, learn his ways and obey him. And so we can really rejoice as we're coming down the stretch towards Shavuot. And we celebrate the giving of the commands. 
We celebrate coming out of Egypt, coming out of slavery, coming out of bondage in our lives, and coming to his laws, his ways, which are so much higher than ours. But we must live by them, and we will live by them if we keep them. I wrote a tiny little poem, but it's something, it's something you can think about. And it's, it's an everyday experience. It goes like this. If you're feeling a little down and out, give Yah a little shout. Tell him what it's all about. He will help you. There is no doubt. Hallelujah. The Father teaches us his ways with his commands and his Torah. He's the life and length of our days. Yahoo is perfect. And he wants us to be perfect. To love him, to seek him, to desire him, to care for him more than anything else. That's what he wants. And as we seek him, as we desire him, as we follow his ways, we can, we can be perfect in our own way to the potential he's given us in all of us that he's put inside of us to serve him, to honor him, to extol him and honor and extol exalting him, all him, all this about exalting our Father, Yahuwah. So rest today. Seek him and rest in him alone. This day and always. May you have a blessed rest of the Sabbath day. And remember, look to Yah. He's waiting for you to find him. He's waiting for you to look for him. He's waiting for you to ask him, to tell him your troubles and your needs. And praise him and thank him. He deserves it. He deserves all of our praise. The little song goes like, Hello, yeah, I'm so glad to be in your presence. Hello, yeah, I'm glad to be in your presence. Hello, yeah, I'm glad to be in your presence. To give you the praise and honor due to you. To give you the praise and honor due to you. To give you the praise and honor due to you. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. He is the greatest and we can't thank him enough. We just bless him and bless his name forever. For he is the greatest. And so we celebrate his goodness every Shabbat. Especially this Shabbat as we're counting up toward Shavuot. I'm going to say the a final blessing. We'll blow the shofar and say Shabbat Shalom. Rest in Yahuwah. This is the month of Iyar, the month of splendor, the month of newness and blossoming. So, let your soul and spirit blossom in Yahuwah. Remember, he planted you. He gives you everything you need to grow and to mature and to blossom. To be great and smell wonderful for the world. Yivareka, Yahuwah v'ishmireka. Yahuwah bless you and guard you. Kenya he so may it be. Ya'er ya'u upon of lekka viku neka. Ya'u make his face shine upon you and show favor to you. Can ya he ratzon? So may it be. Yisai ya'u upon of lekka via sim lekka shalom. Ya'u lift up his face upon you and give you peace. And we bless the name of Ya'u now and forever. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Shabbat Shalom, we love you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.